Like a lot of people in a post 2015 world, I become a lot more concerned with far right fascist groups than I have been in the past. And one thing that the alt-right has that's different from a lot of kind of earlier, at least in the last several decades, white nationalist groups in America is that they try to present themselves as an intellectual movement, that they have actual ideas. They're not just spewing hate, right? Or just kind of reactive impulses of people they don't like. And to the extent that they do try to kind of actually put on ideas on the table, I found that just spending way too much time listening and reading and trying to understand what they actually believe, that, that drew out to me certain things. And one of them is when you find someone like Richard Spencer or a lot of the other sorts of big name alt-right people, when someone asks them, okay, so why is race the motivating identity for you? Why is it not nationality in a political sense? Or why is it not some other political tribe? Why is it not religion? Why is it not us a lot of other things? They often will kind of scramble and not really have an answer. But in their most transparent moments, they will confess to you that there's something arbitrary about it. Overwhelmingly, they're going to be like race realists, believers in a really strong kind of biological notion of race. But when you find them talking on outlets that are not really for public consumption, so when you're in the middle of a long interview on some racist podcast for racist by racist, right? So like Richard Spencer, for, for example, will just say that even if it turned out that race was not as biologically important of a phenomenon as they think it is, then that would not really affect his views. Or he will say even that he thinks that race is not just about biology. And that there is a major socially constructed element to it based on history and just historical contingencies. But for him and a lot of other alt-right people, it seems that it's so pure in its tribalism in a way that a lot of these other things aren't. So for example, that you have religion, well, that's not gonna be purely tribalistic because the religion's gonna have its own kind of moral principles, its own kind of metaphysical system, its own views about salvation, so on and so forth. Political systems obviously have all sorts of principles that don't reduce to tribal arrangements. Nationalities, it's gonna have even some, not principles per se, but some kind of contingencies that are not just the tribe itself. Whereas race, more so than anything else, really is just a classification system, right? And it is exactly because of its arbitrariness that it's so, the arbitrariness is what people like Richard Spencer gravitate to. It's just brute in a certain sense. And you're not gonna have moral principles that you're gonna make you restrain your tribalism. It's just that. And really, at the end of the day, more fundamental for at least that segment of the alt-right than even the racism is this view of the world where things just are constantly in conflict, that the world is not positive sum, it is zero sum, that necessarily there will be some people who win and some people who lose, some people who are dominated, some people who dominate, that there is no harmony of interest, even in an ideal world. Right. And that these kind of like collective battles are what give meaning to our existence. Mm -hmm. And that's really the fundamental thing, even more than the racism. The racism is just because it's such a salient identifying feature. And so if you're just looking for just kind of dividing people up into collectives and classifying them that way, that's the most salient thing you're going to get. That's what drives the Richard Spencer sector, at least, of the far right to the racism in general. It's just the most salient identity group for that purpose. So a good analogy here might be is that Spencer will say a lot of positive things about Marxism because Marxism is also this kind of conflict-based 
ideology where you have these different social classes, right? Where there's the proletariat versus the bourgeoisie. And he sees the left generally as this kind of conflict based thing. So in his view, of course, cultural leftism is going to just be other kinds of racial identitarianism, the oppressed, whatever. That's his obvious way of viewing it. But his reason for favoring the kind of far right racist view is because he will say that Marxists or the left or in general, right, can never win. And what he means by that is because there's still this kind of quasi-moral or moral attachment to the people who are being oppressed. It's still not to the group itself, right? It's not just 100% undiluted. This is the group. This is our team. There's nothing more to it than that. We just want to win. But I really think that racism of that kind of like ideological racism is even further from the spirit of libertarianism than communism. And I think really delving into it really drew that out for me because it drew out what the identifying feature of that kind of worldview. It's this tribalistic conflict, amoral worldview, whereas the liberal worldview, as I'm saying it, is this kind of moral universalism this kind of very positive sum centric thing where conflict is not what drives the world. The cooperation in collaboration, mutual aid, mutually beneficial exchanges, that those are real, that that's what drives the world, not conflict. And that there are genuine interests beyond just identity conflicts that drive the world. And I think if you really get into not just the things of like this or that Nazi gets an interview with CNN or whatever they say there, but what they say when they're talking to their own crowd is that they will clearly identify liberalism as the bigger enemy to them than communism even. Communism is just, this is the scary thing to people and this is what motivates people. The fear of communism might motivate them to be more tribalistic, so that's what they talk about more, but liberalism is the bigger problem for them. 